Ever found an amazing web project and wished you could run it as a desktop app to keep your data local? That happened to me, and here's what I did. I love the idea of a real wiki where information connects automatically just by naming things. While using a mind map to structure my thoughts on a complex topic, I wondered, what if I could apply this wiki concept to connect my mind map with other materials? I already used a similar approach in this project, where SVG images automatically link together, creating interactive diagrams. A quick search for an extensible tool or library revealed this interesting project. But like many great UI projects these days, it is web-based. So I thought, why not turn this into a desktop app using Tauri? Let's give it a try. We start by setting up a new Tauri project using pnpm create Tauri app. We then follow the wizard and choose a project name, JavaScript as the frontend platform, pnpm as the package manager, Vue.js as the web frontend, and TypeScript as the frontend language. Once the project is created, we install all dependencies using pnpm install. Before making any modifications, let's verify everything works by running pnpm run Tauri dev. And as expected, it does. Even so, this is just an experiment for now, it's a good idea to create a Git repository right away. This way we can track changes and easily roll back if something breaks. With the base setup done, we install Mind Elixir. Now we open Vue's app component and remove the sample application created by the Tauri wizard. Since we don't need them, we also remove most of the styles. Next we define a container where Mind Elixir will be mounted to. Then we add the required imports for Mind Elixir, Vue.js and some sample data. Now we are ready to create the Mind Elixir component inside Vue's unmounted hook and initialize it with the sample data. The sample data I have already prepared and as you can see Mind Elixir's data structure for mind maps is pretty straightforward. However, there is one important detail. Mind Elixir requires us an absolute height for its container. We will set it to 1000 pixels to allow space for larger mind maps. We also update the size of the application window in the Tauri configuration. Now let's start the app and see how it looks. The Mind Elixir canvas appears as expected and our sample mind map is displayed correctly. We can zoom in and out using control mouse wheel and pan around by clicking and dragging using the right mouse button. To edit the mind map, we use the context menu on any node by right clicking. Let's quickly add a few new nodes. As you can see, the app is already fully functional. To make this application really useful, we need a way to save, open and export mind maps. So let's create a menu. We define a menu in Rust, so first we remove the sample code from the Tauri wizard. Next we add the necessary use statements and add the setup hook to the Tauri app builder. Inside the setup hook, we use the submenu builder to create a file menu with entries for opening and saving mind maps as well as for exporting them as SVG. We also include the build and quit option. Once the menu is built, we use the menu builder to create the menu bar and attach it to the application. Now we register an event handler for the menu entries. When triggered, it emits a dedicated event for every menu entry, which we will handle in the view app. Since importing and exporting mind maps requires Mind Elixir's APIs, it's easier to handle this functionality in Vue. To implement these event handlers, we need support for file selection dialogs and file system access for reading and writing files. For this, we install two Tauri plugins called Dialog and FS. Next, we add the necessary imports to listen for events, to handle file dialogs, and to work with the local file system. With that in place, we can now implement the open file function. It opens a file selection dialog with the filter set for JSON files. If a file is selected, we read and pass its content and then load the data into Mind Elixir. We then implement a save file and an export SVG function in a similar way. Finally, we use Tauri's Listen API to register these functions as handlers for the respective events emitted from the Rust code. To make this work, we need to grant our application one additional permission. At this point our application is already fully usable, but one key feature is still missing, autosave on close to prevent data loss. To implement this, we first add the necessary imports. Then we register a shutdown handler using the onclose requested API on the current window. Inside the handler, we fetch the current mind map from Mind Elixir and save it as a file in the user's home directory. We also make sure to unregister the event handler as required by the Tauri docs. For this functionality to work, we need to grant two additional permissions. 
FS allow home write to store data in the user's home directory and core window allow destroy to handle the shutdown event. Finally, to package the application, we run pnpm run tau rebuild. The app is now ready for distribution. To deploy it, we just copy the executable from source tauri target release. And that's it. With just a few steps and minimal code, we have turned the web-based tool into a full-featured desktop app. The project link is in the description below the video. If you would like me to show how to extend this app with the wiki integration mentioned earlier, leave a comment wiki wiki. If you are interested in Tauri but not a Rust expert yet and your main programming language is C-sharp, then check out these two videos.